Hello and welcome back. We're going to be killing this guy in this episode, but before we do that, uh, just to let you know what I've been doing, uh, I think Ferry got to level 30 and Sylvia got to level 30 and some other people I think got to, I think Ideen might have got to level 30, yeah. We were getting the knights uh, a little bit less bad, but before we see what that's done, we've got a guy to kill. Sigurd meets Langerbolt. <laughs> oh, that could made it. I'll send you to Violent. You must be getting lonely by now. <laughs> yep, never forgive you. Eat my sword. Holy weapon versus holy weapon. So yeah, this is the first holy weapon we faced. And yeah, it's pretty good. This guy, um... Unless you have an attack of 40 or more, you're not going to be doing any damage to him. And if you look in the top right hand corner, not many people actually have that. Oh yeah, you could attack him with magic I guess, but that would be cheating, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Axes. I kind of like how it comes back to him. I guess Bridget's really the only one who can actually... At this point. At this point. No, I've been defeated! Damn it, it's up to you. One of the holy warriors falls. Of many more to come. But before we do that... Some gentleman in here. You're ready to be promoted, Pap. Do you want to be promoted? Yes, I do. Noish is getting an upgrade. Look at that upgrade. He's now a paladin. More skill, more strength, more speed, more magic, magic, more defense, more magic defense. So yeah, this is the new Noish. He's actually quite got decent speed, skill, strength, defense. He'd make a, a half decent mini boss, but he's not he's not much compared to the actual holy warriors. Uh, Alec, ready to be promoted to paladin. Do you want to be promoted? Yes, I do. More skill, more strength, more speed, more magic, more defense, more magic defense. So yeah, very much fulfilling his role of high skill, high speed, no strength whatsoever. My dear. Your turn. Ready to be promoted to Bow Knight? Do you want to be promoted? Yes, I do. So this is Mide now Midale. I keep calling him Midale because that's the name of the uh, the character he's based off of, or his name is corrupted a form of. Anyway, this is the new Midale. Look at that. He's got a yellow horse. More skill, more strength, more speed, more defense, more magic defense. Yeah. A rather crisp 18 defense there. Okay, strength. Mm, skill and speed are a bit lacking, but hey, he might actually be able to beat something. And finally, Beowulf. So yeah, they basically just hit Langbarters repeatedly until they got to level 20. It wasn't hard. He think gives about 20 experience a hit, which is okay, and since most of them have swords. It wasn't too painful. And they can all take a hit, except for Alec, who really couldn't, but is fast, so he dodged most of the time. Beowulf. More skill, more strength, more speed, more defense, more magic defense. So yeah, looking at Beowulf, he's actually not that bad. 20... He's got more speed than Alec, and more, more speed and skill than Alec. Uh, more strength than Noish. 
actually more strength than any of them. And all with equal defense. No one cares about luck. None of them have any resistance. I guess the Paladin's got a bit of resistance as part of their level up, but yeah. Beowulf, I think, is meant to be actually a decent unit. He's meant to be a decent... Oh yeah, and he also gets Adept as a result of classing up, which means he's now a pretty good unit, technically. I think I might just take him to the arena. You know, because old times' sake. Now that he's here, he might as well. Still slower than that guy. Still can't hit for Toffee. Rubbish. Yep, yeah, they still suck. Just, just, just wanted to make that clear. They, they still suck. Just repair weapons. I should have done this before. I'm very sorry. Anyway, so yeah, as far as weapon ranks go, um, they got B rank in lances now, so they could, I guess, use steel lances if I had any. You, you've got A rank in bows now, so you could use that silver bow that uh, Ruckus has had if, of course, I had sold it, but I didn't, so... <sighs> sorty, sorty. So yeah, I'm... see how far they can get. Probably won't be able to get there before I decide I get bored and get rid of them. Well, not get rid of them, but... So yeah, we have a couple of cross knights now. Very cross knights. I'm feeling good about the future. That's all of our units are now promoted. Well, the ones that can promote are now promoted. Dancing. I suppose we should all cluster around here. I believe it's going to open up as soon as... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, do you fell in love with Bridget? Wait, did I? I did, didn't I? I just moved Sigurd in there. I are dumb, sorry. Seas. That sure wasn't an easy one. It's just get Granville's standing on me. Things are only going to get worse when we get to the territorial army. Not the territorial. What is it? The home army? I'm not sure. Oi, Faye, I need a favour from you. Sure, what is it? Isaacian territory is just northeast of Lubeck, right? Langbart's oldest son, Dannon, has been stationed in La Isaac ever since their defeat, but I'm willing to bet his authority hasn't reached the I outskirts of Isaac. So, yep. Head for safety. Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh yeah, take Selif with you. Mm-hmm, you can't f I can't fight and take care of him. Please. Hmm. You're also the only one who can't even vaguely wield a sword. Mm -hmm. Yes. You must promise to come get us. Of course he promises. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, who's this? Oh, it's Shannon. Don't be a dick now, Shannon. Deidre, put me in charge of protecting Selif. Yeah. Yeah. Stop being a child. This is for the best. I wonder what will happen when he finds out what's... Oh dear. Isaacians hate you guys, yeah. Mm -hmm. He'll be in big trouble. Yep. I'm the prince, I can protect him better than anyone, yeah. Yep. It would be a good idea to send the kids away. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. Shannon, watch over Sadif, okay? 
No one will lay a hand on him. I'll tell him all about Deidre, too. Please take care. Mm -hmm. Stay well. Will do. There goes Oifei and Shannon. And Selif. I believe the other children also go with, uh, with them. What other children, you might ask? Well, there's obviously more children, aren't there? I mean, they've been married for, what, a year? At least... At least a month now, most of them. I mean, Dew and Bridget just fell in love, so that means that obviously they all have children. Obviously. Yeah, I think... A, chronologically, a few of their children are born after this... This chapter, but... Uh, Obviously, said it isn't. Anyway, actually, I wonder. Talks. Everyone has a talk, I think. Well, a lot of people have talks, I think. Yes, yeah, Sigurd has a talk with Ira. Lex has a talk with Azel. You do that. Yeah. What are you so happy for? Yeah. Yep, your dad's dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He killed a lot of innocent people. Mm hmm Never thought of him as bad guy. He was always kind to us. Yeah. He was a nice guy. Yep. What? Really? Whoa, whoa. That's why you left your pad. Lex is hip and down with the kids. Yep, you got your knife. He's got his. Yeah. One of which involves killing other people and the other... Uh, yeah, anyway. Wait, hang on. Do you... Did you have a talk with... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what are you still sort of doing here? Yeah, what is up with it? Everyone being all weird. Yeah. Sorry, do you. You're all a bit on edge. You're a nice guy. What are you getting all mushy for? Yeah. Dew's also sensing something. I like that line for some reason. It gives gives the impression that that um what what's his name? Uh Jamka's some kind of <sighs> savage prophet sort of thing. I'm not sure what the archetypal name is. Anyway, so go ahead, talk to Ira. Yeah. Wait, did you? Wouldn't be right if I left now. I'm finishing this war with you. Yep, that's what she's doing. He's in Isaac, and you're here. Uh huh. Yep. Yep, he's old enough to look after himself. Yeah, because that's how it works in Isaac. You look after them until they're, what, ten, and then you chuck them out. Hmm. Yep, return as soon as the war's finished. You two will be able to return to your homeland. Aw, oh, sweet. Anyone else have chalk talks, chats? Okay, so everyone ha so everyone now ha is bred and watered, except for the loser knights and Holin. No one cares about Holin, so yeah. Let the floodgates open. Oh, hang on, what's this? It's Schwann and Ethlin! And is that Finn? No, wait, hang on. There's only one Duke Knight. Neat. Neat. Hang in there, we're getting there. Yep, so Ghost Troops coming to. Yep, we'll meet up with them. Because obviously sending out scouts is too. easy. Aww. Ethlin, don't apologise. You know he'd do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Yep. Aw, oh, his father's sick. Pity. Making enemies with Granvale? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a country of warriors. Entire family is descended from Crusader Nobile. Yeah. War of justice, there is no loser. Justice! Yep. Give the battle all we've got. He has the gay bulg. Oh yeah, he's also a holy warrior. 
Did I mention that before? Oh yeah, he I, he got it earlier, yeah. No, he's not about to fall with this at his side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're in enemy territory now, you better head on back. So yeah, I believe they come up and then we talk to them and stuff happens, I don't know. I think they, they aim for Finora, which means they're probably going to die if... Uh, if they wander into the range of the the mages that are obviously there, because mage fighter Vaha. Anyway, enemy territory now. Better head on back. Schwan, you're coming with. Wait, aren't you holding a baby? Hmm? Yeah, that's why I let you bring all tenor along. Oh God, why would you do that? See, Sir Gerd sent his baby boy away eventually. Just can't stand to leave your side. She's only three years old. What would you do if we were suddenly attacked? <gasps> yeah, you'll keep her safe. I mean, you're a level 30. Yeah, never have brought you along in the first place had I known your intentions. Antenna wouldn't stop crying. I... I had to bring her! You're right. I'll go back. I'm sorry, Evelyn. Yeah. Finn is in charge of Leonster. Please go back and wait for me. Yep, just a little. Please, Sean. Keep it short. Here they come. Do 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 do. Because obviously, going around the desert would have been too dip. Whoa 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 whoa. Schwan has no clue we're here. He's got a woman with him too. That'd be a mistake. It's been a fine farewell to Lenster's Lance Ritter. Desert's hindering their movement. No way they can put up a fight here. Let's move. The future of Thracia is within our grasp. I imagine it. Thracia's Thracia's wither knight! No, Travant followed us! Ethlyn, get out of here! Yeah! For goodness sake, do that. Like a pack of hyenas, they'll show no compassion for a child. It's been after our country for quite a while. So yeah, this is the conflict that was previously alluded to. Thracia has been trying to conquer the four kingdoms north of it in order to establish a power base, and they can't get through Leonster because of that darn gay bulg. So now, the greatest op their greatest ever opportunity has just presented itself. I've made a grave miscalculation! We can take them. We can take them if only Ethelin just sort of... Only Ethelin fights them. So yeah, they're going to move a lot more quickly. Uh oh, it's the funky Thracians. Yeah. I love... what's his name? Um, was it Cal? Calmuk? One, I don't know which us user it was who described them as funky. That genus funky, but it's the exact word. The exact word to use. I, I wholeheartedly approve of that description. Lord Langbart was killed, was he? Why am I speaking like this? No, wait, it... Oh, oh, no, hold on, I'm Arvis, yeah. Lord Langbart was killed, was he? Arvis, now what are we going to do? You're the one who said Sir Gerd wouldn't pose any problems. You knew Langbart and I sent most of our military off with our sons to subdue other areas. You've explicitly gone against your word. I'm so annoyed I might wipe my finger at you. Yes, calm down, Lord Raptor. Yep, yeah, the ultimate troops position in the Yi Desert. Thracia's mercenary should be here sort surely. Thracia, Thracia, okay. As long as you and I engage our arms together, the rebels will fall. You better be right this time, and have the throne for all I care. You best not forget about us once you become king. Mm -hmm. Your family will take Augustria, and everywhere else if if the uh, rest of the game is in. Go away. The Dozel family will take Isaac. Those countries are rightfully yours, as opposed to the people who already... oh, never mind. We'll take on the rebels with all we've got. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Lord Elvis, I see things... why am I talking like this all of a sudden? Sorry, I, I can't remember what accent I had, so obviously I'm talking like some sort of Dracula from a cheesy 1980s horror flick. Ooh. Lord Elvis, I see things... no, that was it. Oh, who cares? Yeah. Don't sharp randomly. Creepy looking guys with pointy noses and purple capes. Don't don't really leave much to the imagination. You, you're not going to be mistaken for the cleaner. Yeah. Stay completely hidden. Mm hmm You let that greedy Reptor and Langbart run all over you. Mm-hmm. 
Works with their sons. It says once and only once. So listen good. I've suddenly changed my speech patterns. Yep. I have the slightest intention of rebuilding your Lopto Empire. I have no problem with your Lopto sect existing. I'm not leaving the world in the hands of the Dark Lord. You follow? I don't care if I have the Lopto clan's blood in me. I have St. Myra's blood and he fought for the good of the people. Who said a father is also one of my ancestors. I will use my power to create a world which is free of prejudice, one where all people can live without fear of repression. Or Sigurd knows way too much, consider a sacrifice to the greater good. I assume that great good includes Deidre as well. <laughs> so yeah, that's Manfroy's diabolical plan in a nutshell. Capture Kurth's daughter. Tell Arvis that uh, she's... Um, She's Kurth's daughter, and that if he marries her, he'll become emperor. Don't tell him that she also that she's actually his half sister, and that if they breed, they're going to create the god, the dark god. Of course, yeah, that does require Arvis to fall in love with his own half sister, but yeah, afraid her memories may be restored, which I can totally do. We are in love. I talk like robot. Yes, no one's going to get in our way. Oh, what a horrible mental image. Get busy and bear a son. I'm certain to become a magnificent king. <laughs> oh yes, he is. Rebels of Shana. Just a little dose, of, a good dose of meteor. <laughs> this desert could be their grave. Okay, so here come the. Uh oh. Troll. Yay, Pavis. Okay, so now we've we've got uh, Thracia's Wyvern Knights. Look at that! They've got horse slayers. All of them have horse slayers. So, Travant's kingdom is supposed to be a kingdom that's um, low on, well, low on everything, low on money, low on food, low on, low on resources. How exactly they can afford to kit their units out with night slayers and whatnot beats me. Anyway, here's Magorn. He's got a brave lance and a shield ring. Yeah, he's quite good. In fact, he's almost as good as I don't know. He's he's, he's kind of similar to Beowulf, I guess. If if Beowulf had a brave lance. Uh, oh, and here's Travant. He's got the Gungnir and the Recover Ring. The Recover Ring is a generic "you can't kill this boss" ring. Restores all HP on every turn. Five leadership stars. Okay. Pursuit and Nihil. So that means arrows won't critical him, and he'll pursue you. The Gungnir gives plus 10 to strength, speed, and defense. Means you can't, even if you could hit him. Yeah. Yeah. He's not actually particularly strong comparatively. I mean, he's, he's, he's not that. He's a, bit, he's a bit like a faster, more accurate, and infinitely less cool Arden. Kind of. But he has the gun there, and that makes him unbelievably deadly. Yeah. I'm not even sure how old he is, but compared that to the Lance Brigade, um, they're, they're not great, comparatively. They're not even as. F yeah. To be honest, the Wyvern Knights totally outclassed them. Here's Ethelin. Oh yeah, she uh, she left her equipment at home. She only has an iron sword, because obviously if she had the light sword, or her, one of her lances maybe, there's no way in hell they'd be able to beat her. Well, I mean, Traven obviously could, and Megon probably could, but... And who else have we got? Here's Schwan. He left most of his equipment at home, and he has the Gabolg. 
What else? Oh, Velcro of Fire Mages, they're pretty much everywhere. Mm. They've all got Meteor and Hellfire. Vaha, the great, the great and heroic mage hero, has made her appearance. She's not great. Here's Velth one another of Velthamer's fire mages. He's not great. Priests with sleep staffs, obviously. Because clearly the game was too easy to begin with. Fortunately, um, they won't. They'll almost certainly not be able to um, beat Sigurd and anyone with 11 or more resistance, which is limited to her, 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 him, not him, not him, not him, not him, him, not him, not him, not him, him, not him, not him, not him, her, not her. Not oh her, yep. Yep. So yeah, about half my team can anyway, I'm just gonna get rid of this guy because to be honest I do not care for his existence. Oh whoops. That was pretty dumb. Oh god, then I'll just move everyone forwards a bit and then... Oh yeah, these guys are moving forwards. They will get here in time, do not worry. Bing, 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 bing. I'll probably uh, send everyone back to uh, to fix their stuff later, or I might actually get them to fix stuff at Finora instead. Anyway, that's several moved. After this turn is over, I'll yeah. I wonder why Ethelin left all of her cool stuff behind. Move. So yeah, good luck to those guys. This is the most inappropriate music for a genocide I've ever heard. Just feel like this should be emphasized. So yeah, even if it weren't for the fact that they're utterly outclassed, the Leonster Knights. Travance kitted them out with the specific weapons to utterly ruin them. If they had three more strength, they'd be killing in one hit. Yeah, I feel I should point out that um, 
these guys are, I believe, allied with Velthoma rather than with what is it? Um, rather than with Fenora. The only Fenora allied ones are Vaha and her two. Oh, wait, hang on. Priest, priest. Wait, hang on. You're allied with priest. Wait, what? Hang on. Where are you bound to? You're bound to Velthamer. What are you? You've got. You've just got Elfla. You're bound to. Yeah, you're. You're bound to, um. Venora. No. Are you? It's, that's really hard to tell. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, that's enough for this episode. I will see you all next time, in which maybe these guys will catch up, and maybe these guys will make some progress, and hopefully we'll turn our attention towards the massacre that is going on down there. Sure could use Eva, uh, Eva and Alva right now.